And welcome back, Gamer Nation. This is SKS. Let's play Democracy 3 France. Last time we left off, I found out some interesting news. The space program has been so great here in France. We have been to the moon and back. Yes, yes, I know that it seems like it's not possible, but it's true. We actually beat the Americans there. How is that possible, you asked? Well, you can research this right now. Go ahead, after I say it, you can stop the video and check it. But when America went to the moon, they planted a flag there. But due to the radiation, that flag has since turned all white. And we all know that all white flags mean only one thing. France has been there, and we've retreated. So therefore, the moon landing is actually credited to us now. So, ha <laughs> ha, again. Pause the video. Go look it up. I'm right. France is wrong. We are successful. Hooray. Last time we left off, the GDP is uh, having a negative effect because, well, the global economy sucks ass. Our unemployment is going down. The budget's in good shape. We're now making $17.4 billion. 97%. Uh, things are good. I have nothing to complain about here in France. I never thought I would say that. We are slowly paying off the debt. Capitalists are still unhappy with this due to the income tax, mostly. I mean, there's other taxes, they're not happy, but I'm, I'm, I'm not able to get rid of the income tax yet. I mean, I would have to uh, increase the sales tax to do that. Let's see, is there anything anybody really wants? The welfare fraud department. That actually seems like a good thing. I think I will implement that. And uh, seems like my, well, our tax guy on economy is doing well, but nobody else is really happy with me. I don't know why. Look at this. His bars are all the way up, but his loyalty's down. That makes no sense. I'm doing well. You did not hear that. <laughs> Evidently, this guy was playing Mario Brothers. And, uh, things happened. Oh, I don't want to look at that. Alright, so I've only got five turns to the next election, so I guess we'll hit that today, gamers. That's a thought. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why can't nobody keep it in their pants? It might not have been anything to do with your policies or your personal conduct, but the actions of your staff are going to reflect on you. Damn it! One of your junior ministers has been found to have an improper relationship with his secretary. Well, as long as they're not married, you know. But I guess improper means that they were. So people's going to be upset at us. And now we're only going to get 96%. The global economy is doing okay, and we are in neither a boom nor bust cycle. So hopefully the GDP will kick up a little bit. We are making some more money. Ooh, conservatives are unhappy about the, uh, the ministerial scandal. Oh no. What will we do? And it seems like everybody else is doing alright. How are we doing on money? That's what I want to know. Of course, I don't click the money sign. Uh, state pensions is a lot. State health. Schools. My military spending is still just a little bit. Look at this income, though. 57 from income tax. Good grief. Ooh, the global economy is really bounced up. Look at that. And hopefully our debt will go down. And um, GDP is hopefully going to bounce up a little bit. As long as we keep this green line above this. We need some reserves. I don't have any of those. So hopefully that's my goal from the election is to try to ride this. I forgot if I get to serve more than one term or two terms or not I don't think it's indefinite but uh, if it does go on I'll probably just play this one until we fix the debt and then maybe stop it that's a thought anyway but we'll see uh, security crusaders of the lord are not very happy with me Maybe they're on a mission from God. <laughs> Where are you at, GDP? 
Yeah, you're trying to bounce up a little bit. Let's see if anybody else wants anything. Um, rent controls? Nah. Food stamps? No. What do we need food stamps? Go out and get your own job. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody wants anything for the economy. They want a corporation tax, but... We're, nah, luxury goods tax. That actually might be something. Uh, but I don't know. A mortgage tax relief. Helps home buyers afford. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's 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 help people out a little bit. It helps the middle income out a lot. And only two billion dollars. Yeah, I'll go for that. That should help out the economy some. Um, that's my that's my plan of action for this term. Oh, we have to appoint a senior judge. Twenty six billion surplus. Ninety eight percent of the vote. Let's see, one of our most senior and respected judges has died. That's sad. And we now have to make a choice for his replacement amongst the nominated candidates. This individual will sit in our courts for a very long time, so we must make the right decision. We could put Remy Andre. Remy Andre has been a strong supporter of human rights, making many landmark rulings in favor of individual rights and liberties. He is also seen as being strongly pro-consumer and not afraid to challenge large corporations. Mm, that might cause some issues. Uh, what is this? Matilde Gunyan is a household name thanks to her many famous rulings concerning violent crimes and her often outspoken views on the harsh sentences that she feels should be applied to thieves, muggers, and shoplifters. What the? Really? The big case here is between how we... There's a big difference between being a... Well, thieves and shoplifters are the same thing. They're both stealing. And muggers, I guess. But that... That's her big thing. That's how she's a household name as she goes after those types of people. I think I'm going to go with Andre here. That that just doesn't even make sense to me, gamers. Um, her debt is so, so low. If we could just get it going just a little bit. Youth club subsidies. I know people want it, but I've already got 98% of the vote. You don't need it. I said so. So you can get fucked. What do we got? Two turns? Three turns in the next election. I'm going to hit this little next button and it'll be two turns now. Oil drilling opportunity. Look at these bars. GDP is starting to... 99% of the vote. $30 billion could consider dropping taxes. No, not until we pay off the debt. Oil companies are keen to get permission to drill for oil and part of the country protected as a wildlife refuge. The oil supplies under the refuge are considerable, but the drilling would have a negative impact on the environment. Of course it would. Allow drilling. There are literally billions of barrels of oil right here on our soil and current laws preventing us from drilling for it. Instead, we are importing oil from other countries. The environmental impact will be minimum when you consider the gains that drilling makes in terms of energy security. Nobody wants to spoil the environment, but the alternative is a reliance on foreign oil. And that's why we have an overwhelming military. Prevent drilling. This valuable wildlife refuge would be devastated by oil exploration. This is one of our nation's great natural treasures, and it would be criminal to wreck it just to boost domestic oil production. Drilling in this part of the country will not entirely remove our independence on foreign oil, but will spoil our natural... We're going to prevent this, because that's why I raised the military. I mean, I, we've got a big-ass military just for that. Look at this! It is an overwhelming force! <laughs> I wish I could declare war on somebody. Revenge for all the years. Patriots love me. Hoorah! Let's see, is there anything in the transport industry that you guys want? No. You want gambling though, because that wouldn't cost any issues, would it? No gambling. No gambling for any of you. I'd have to get drones to kill you. Two elections. Two elections. Two turns, I mean. Ooh, another scientific discovery. Patriots are happy. So is the GDP. 
when the GD hybrid tip oh we're not probably productive now let's see uh, the loyalty of your ministers can be described as supportive the effectiveness is considered very good so our productivity is gone but yet we're still look at that debt dwindling I cannot wait to get into the millions I will be so excited I'm so excited the price of oil is going up and I do not like that How's my space program? I just like to click on the space button just to know. I like the cost history. Wow, that's crazy. Oh well, what do we got? Another election? Let's go to the election. This should be a close one. I'm guessing it's going to be 98 no, 96% to like two. Or maybe I was wrong. Holy crap. Okay, well, I was close. It was 95 to one. 4%, you know, 2.7 million people decided not to even show up. Let's see, uh, breakdown. Breakdown! Looks like only a few capitalists didn't vote for me. A few liberals, self-employed. Oh, and it says retire in glory. Well, the f fuck me. That was quick. <laughs> oh, Democracy 3, I don't even know what to say about you. You cut me off as soon as I really get involved. So that was Democracy 3 with uh, France. Um, we whooped its butt. I know some of you asked me if that was the difficulty was set on like easy and the option, is, the answer is I left it the way it was when I picked France. So if there's a way to change that harder, I don't know if that just changes the way the country is. I know this game's been tw patched twice. So um, I don't know what to tell you. But uh, I totally just uh, dismantled France. People love me. I would be a lame duck. I mean, continuing on the path we were, I think, in, uh, before the next time an election come around for somebody else, we would have paid off the debt. Because um, we would have been below $200 billion then. So, uh, yeah, things were looking nice. Hmm. I don't know, there is this thing for mods. We might have to look into that. Update your mod. Create a mod. Visit the mods website. So I don't know. So what do we got next time? We've already knocked out France. So I guess uh, I'll let you all debate whether you want me to do this. I have something planned for the United States. Since we're obviously the worst country in the world. You know, from what people say. So we got the United Kingdom. A lot of people have been calling for Germany. We got Canada. And we have Australia. So that gives you all some options. If you want me to play this again, you can uh, hit me up and let me know uh, what you would like to see. Um, I think it will be interesting. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, playthrough of Democracy 3. Um, and maybe, you know, if you've not decided whether you want to buy this or not, you got a good idea watching me. Um, like I said, after playing Democracy 2, it was kind of easy to figure out the mechanics of Democracy 3. And while there are some minor updates, not as many as I thought there would be. Uh, they've kind of left the game essentially the same and added real countries and less of them at that. And, uh... Yeah, it's the, the easy factor seems like it's there. I mean, like I said, you can uh, mess with the, you know, like if I go in here and click France again, you can, the difficulty was 100% and socialism's 100%. I mean, I'm sure you could do that, but doesn't that change what it's set up as? So I don't know. Because um, I'm sure you could just uh, 
change those to where you would automatically get killed if you tried to change something, but... You know, that's not the goal. The, uh, the goal is to have fun with the game and to enjoy it and hopefully enhance and start some discussion. Uh, that's what I like to do when I play historical games is I play Devil's Advocate and I throw ideas out there and then let you all respond. Which I know we're having some issues with that with the Google Plus fiasco going on. I really don't know if... Um, I don't know if YouTube's going to change back or Google will fix it or if it's stuck like this... Um, we may have to find different avenues, but that's a different discussion for another time. As stated before, gamers, I hope you enjoyed it. Think about what you want me to do next time, and I will see you then. Good night, gamers.